This video is intended to provide an overview of the potential impact and the associated challenges to overcome by developing and applying control system tools to the clinical practice of neuromuscular electrical stimulation. Motor neurons are nerves that carry signals from the spinal cord to muscles to produce movement. When muscles are unable to receive these signals or signals are corrupted, as is in the case with disease or injuries such as spinal cord injury, cerebral palsy, Parkinson's disease, and stroke, to name a few, a person's ability to move his or her limbs is affected. One treatment for this condition is to apply an electric field across a muscle group to yield limb motion. Neuromuscular electrical stimulation has been developed based on this phenomena, and functional electrical stimulation is the application of the electric field to perform a functional task. A computer can be used to tell a commercial stimulator what type of waveform to deliver to yield a muscle contraction. Electrical stimulation has a long history of being prescribed for the restoration of various body functions. In the Nonlinear Control and Robotics Group at the University of Florida, we focused on how to intelligently shape and apply the electric field to yield desired muscle contractions in the lower body to produce desired limb motion. The response by muscle to an externally applied electric field is nonlinear and uncertain. Individuals have muscles of variable size and strength composed of different fibers, for example, the difference between a marathon runner and a sprinter. There are even differences in a single person depending on electro placement, hydration levels, time of day, etc. Beyond challenges associated with nonlinearities and uncertainties, which our community has developed numerous tools to address, a unique challenge and perhaps one of the biggest practical issues to deal with is muscle fatigue. From a controls perspective, fatigue causes a time varying change in the control effectiveness matrix. Also, there is a delay between the application of voltage and the torque produced by the muscle. This input delay is uncertain and can change as the muscle fatigues. In addition to methods to compensate for fatigue, one method my group has pursued to reduce the onset of fatigue is to reduce the duty cycle by spatial distribution of the electrodes, so-called asynchronous stimulation. By alternating across different electrodes, the overall duty cycle for each set of muscle fibers is reduced, thereby reducing fatigue. The control challenge here is the use of switch systems control theory to stably switch between different actuators, each with different dynamics that are attached to the same joint. Multiple muscle groups are required for functional coordinated limb motions. For example, cycling is an often used low impact rehabilitative treatment. Switch systems theory can be used to switch between different muscle groups to enable a cycling motion. The challenge here is that during dwell times when some muscles are not being stimulated, the air system exhibits unbounded growth. Our group has developed conditions to ensure robustness and stability during electrical stimulation cycling, including how and when to switch between the specific muscle groups. There is an opportunity for further control systems development, for example, to switch between other actuators such as motors or voluntary torque production from the rider that works in concert with the stimulator. Large populations of people have gait asymmetries due to conditions such as Parkinson's disease or stroke, to name a couple. We have developed a unique mobile cycle where each leg is completely decoupled and we can independently measure power and cadence from each limb. With this test bed, we're focused on cycling produced by the stimulator alone, the stimulator with a motor to move the pedals during certain phases of the cycle, or with the best efforts by the rider along with the stimulation. Insights and ideas from the Control System Society are needed to develop new theories to enable efficient multi-limb coordination for these and other rehabilitative electrical stimulation applications across a variety of injury and disease conditions. We'd like to thank the U.S. National Science Foundation for its generous support of this research.